kinds of banquets are nobly undergone for most poor matters point to rich ends. This my mean task would be as heavy to me as odious, but the mistress which I serve quickens what's dead and makes my labors pleasures. Oh, she is ten times more gentle than her father's crab, and he's composed of harshness. I must remove some thousands of these blocks and pile them up upon a sore injunction. My mistress weeps when she sees me work and says such baseness. I never like executor, I forget. But these sweet thoughts do even refresh my labors. Those bitches when I do it. Pray, work not so hard. I would have lightning burn up those logs who were joined to pile. Pray, rest yourself. My father, he's safe at study. Pray, he's down. He's safe for these three hours. Most dearest mistress, the sun will set before I shall discharge what I must strive to do. If you'll sit down, I'll bear your logs a while. Pray, give me that. I'll carry it to the pile. No, precious creature. I had rather crack my back, break my sinews, than you should such while I sit lazy by. It'll become me much more than it does you, and I shall do it with much more ease, for my will is to it, and yours it is against. <laughs> you look wearily. No, no, precious creature. Tis fresh morning with me for you. I do beseech you chiefly that I might send it so with my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I broke your hands to say so. Admired Miranda. <laughs> in, indeed, the top of admiration was worth dearest to the world. A full mini lady I have I with the best regard, and many a time thy half of the bondage brought my too diligent ear. For several virtues, I have liked several women. Never any with so full soul, but some detective her did quarrel the noblest grace she owned and put it to the foil. You. <laughs> oh, 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 you. So perfect. So fearless. Part <laughs> of the agent of every creature's best. I do not know one of my sex, no woman's face remember, save from my glass my own. Or have I seen more I can call men than you, dear friend? And my father, whose features are abroad, I am skillless of. But by my modesty, the jewel in my dower, I would wish for no other companion in the world but the jewel. <laughs> and imagination can form a shape like yours to lack of. But I prattle, and my father's precepts I dare to forget. I, I, I am in my condition a prince. I do think a king, I would not so. It would no more endure this wooden slavery than to suffer the flesh blow my mouth. Fear my soul speak. That very instant that I saw you did my heart fly to your service. And they were not to make me <laughs> Yes, for your sake, I am this patient logman. Do you love me? Oh, heaven! <laughs> Oh, earth, bear witness to this sound and crown to I profess with kind of it. If I speak true, if hollowly at birth, what has best voted me to mischief, I beyond what else I thy world do love, prize, honor, you. I am a fool to weep what I'm glad of. Wherefore do you weep? And my unworthiness I dare not offer that I should desire to give and much less take what I shall die to want, but this trifling, and all at once it seeks to hide itself. The figure bulk it shows, his bashful cunning, and prompts me with plain and holy innocence. I'll be your wife if you will marry me. If not, I'll die your maid. <laughs> to be your fellow, you may deny me, but I'll be your servant, whether you will or no. Most dearest mistress, and thus I humble ever. My husband then. I, with the heart as willing as bondage, heir of freedom, heir of my hand. And mine with my heart in it. Now farewell, till half an hour. <coughs> <rest>. <coughs> 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 